What you're looking at is Corel Painter 2017, a critical review. Hi everybody, my name is Andre and I am reviewing Corel Painter 2017, uh, the most advanced painting software that you can buy today. Um, I want to preface this review by saying a couple of things. Uh, there are a couple of things that I think that you uh, need to know about this very advanced program before you buy it. Uh, number one, this is an advanced professional level software. Um, there are a lot of um, art programs out there and uh, softwares that you can paint with um, and you know produce excellent level work. Um, but this is a program that um, I would recommend for Anybody who's considering a career um, in digital painting, or if you're going to work um, uh, in the profession, um, such as maybe um, in graphic arts or video editing or the like, um, definitely if you're def uh, working, considering working in film, um, this is definitely a program that should be in your arsenal, um, especially if you want to make um, a serious commitment out of it for at least a few years. And uh, two, you're also going to need a pen tablet or a pen monitor. Um, I have a couple of pen tablets, uh, a smaller one that I have from Wacom, and I have a larger one that I bought here on Amazon from um, Huon. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. It's H-U-I-O-N. And uh, it's a, a smaller company than Wacom, and uh, it was actually selling here on Amazon for, I believe, about $55, $60, and... Uh, it was maybe double the size of the Wacom that I have, and um, a little bit bigger than the first Wacom that I bought, which was the Graphire 3. And uh, the Huons cost about half the price, and it is just as good as the Wacom's. Um, but if I can make a recommendation, I would say that um, the better deal would be to buy a pen monitor. Um, and with a pen monitor, you're as close to replicating the eye pen paper experience as possible without having to use those traditional tools because you're um, with a pen monitor you actually have a, a stylus and you're actually writing so you're touching uh, instead of using a mouse or even um, a, a tablet which your eyes are actually away from the screen and uh, focusing more on the tablet. This one you're actually making a point um, where a pencil or a paper or a paintbrush would make contact to a canvas. So I think it's the most realistic representation that you can use. Now again, um, I chose to um, review this with a Huon that I just bought, and I just bought it to add to my workflow. Um, this time it's a 21-inch monitor. It's their G220, and I believe it's their second um, edition. And uh, because of my past experiences with Hu Huon um, and the fact that it's roughly $1,100 cheaper than the, uh, the Wacom. So um, this monitor is an IPS um, screen. It's uh, 1080p and um, it has a beautiful resolution. And it also has um, 2,048 levels of pressure sensitivity. And you're going to need that if you're going to work with a high-level program like uh, Corel Painter um, any of the years. Because this is, uh, as I mentioned, um, such a very advanced program that uh, you're definitely not skimping if you bought a pen monitor. It's just my preference that um, if you're going to cough up four and some change for the um, Corel Painter, um, certainly you want to have something that you can utilize all of its functions. And... Um, this Huon, this Huon is definitely a, uh, a great pen monitor to have. Okay, so that's uh, just about all the things I want to say beforehand. Now, going back to my point about having painting experience before purchasing, I think uh, it can't be overstated. This, this is a very advanced software, and um, we're talking about a program that has a drop-down section of digital interpretations of pens, pencils, airbrushes, oil and acrylic brushes as well as obscure painting tools and it's going back at least five versions of painter so you've got it goes back to painter 12 all the way up to this current version and um, each of those years they have uh, different kinds of tools so 
Right now, if we were to add up all of the different painting tools that you have in this program going back five years or so, um, you're looking at well over a hundred different kinds of painting tools that you can use. That's more than a hundred, and that's, that's, that's mad. Um, you also have with this um, a brush set, uh, within each of the brush sections, you have um, the ability to modify those brushes. So you can really get creative and um, make any kind of brush the way you'd like it. Um, I just happen to prefer the traditional round and flat brushes for different kinds of work, but you know, you can fool around with anything. They have it there. Um, Painter also has a, uh, a canvas section, and it's a combination of paper and canvas, and uh, you can paint on any kind of surface. It's, a, it's an interpretation, and um, you're not going to actually feel the texture, but um, that's how it's going to look when you um, modify or you create your uh, surface. And um, I think it's just wonderful that you can actually do that. And um, in both cases, um, you can experiment with this program just with the painting tools and the surface um, tools for, you know, months on end. It's just almost limitless. Okay, with this uh, program, you can create more than just digital painting. And uh, like Adobe Photoshop, you can create um, concept art for professional consignments and personal projects, illustrations, manga, and graphic novels. And if you're only going to do graphic novels or manga, I think um, there are cheaper and easier programs to master. But if you have more than that as your interest, um, certainly this is a good uh, program to have. Uh, you can also uh, do photo art as well as fine art, which is what its main uh, focus is. However, there are many, many functions as you go through the program, and um, this will require some sort of tutorial or books um, on these features. Um, I don't recommend the glossary type of books like dummies um, for this particular program. I think with a program like this, you're going to need a workbook or a real-world workbook um, with detailed step-by-step -step illustrations and uh, this for me would get anybody inspired and informed. Now there's a light version to Painter just like um, Photoshop has elements to its Photoshop but it's been my experience that you're, you'll always be longing for the bells and whistles of the full version and most of the time not utilizing them. But having said all this I absolutely love this program and uh, when I start my annual December sabbatical, I'm going to explore more of the hidden tools in this program. Now, as I'm writing this uh, review, Corel is offering a download or physical disk of this program for about $300. So that's about a buck fifty cheaper than what you can find it here on Amazon. But I think that's going to end after Black Friday. And um, if you're just a casually, if you're just casually interested in digital painting, um, I'd strongly dissuade you from buying this version. Um, get Painter Lite or maybe even the excellent Sketchbook Pro or Manga Studio Pro. Those are good programs and it's a lot cheaper. But if you have more than a passing interest and or you want to make the jump and start a career as a digital painter, this is the way to go. This is a must. Excuse me. This is a must-have program. Uh, this is Corel Draw 2017. And uh, it's a great program to have, um, and I think that you'll get a lot out of it, but you'll need to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Um, this is a great investment. If you've got Photoshop, um, that's great for a lot of things. If you want to deal more with the fine arts, um, as opposed to um, maybe a all-purpose program, um, I just can't overemphasize this program. This is just, this is just marvelous. Um, and uh, thank you for your time. This is Corel Painter 2017 um, here, uh, here on sale on Amazon. Okay, thanks.